when you're doing your slide presentation with all of your cartoons in it, your daily doodles, please remember to put your name here. I have students turning in assignments. It should say daily doodles here, and it should say your name here. And remember that this is embedded in your website. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add an index with hyperlinks. So I'm going to click one time here. And then I'm going to right mouse click on this slide and select duplicate slide. Then I'm going to change this text on this number two slide up here to say index. Up here on the right, on the top of the toolbar, I'm going to click align and select this one, center. Then I'm going to delete this picture. I'm going to delete this text box. Notice that when I click on here, you can see the cursor. What you need to do is you need to move the cursor up near where this blue box is and click on here, and then you can delete the box. Now, what I want to do is I want to put a hyperlink to this page from the index page. So it's September 16th. I'm going to go back to the index page. Select the text box. Drag a rectangle about that big. Right here, see the little paint bucket and the little pencil. I'm going to click on the pencil and make it black. And then I'm going to type in 9. 16 and also center stack it by going like this and clicking center. Then I'm going to select it again like this. Again, notice how the cursor changes into what's called an I beam. When you see it change into an I beam, that means you want to edit the text or change the text but what we want to do is we want to edit the whole box so i'm going to click up here notice how the cursor changes again into that plus looking thing so i'm going to click this i'm going to go to hyperlink or insert link slides in this presentation i'm going to scroll down to where it says number three the 16th and click apply. You're going to do this for each one of these drawings. So currently on this slide presentation, I have the 16th with no description yet. And then on the second 16th slide, I have my process. So remember to be taking pictures as you do your work and please don't erase your lines. I want to see a photograph of each step. So since I have one for the 17th, here's what I'm going to do to make it simple. I'm going to click again up here. I'm going to select this box with that strange looking cursor. And I'm going to copy this by holding the control key down and tapping the letter C. I'm going to click somewhere away from this. And then again, holding the control key down and tapping the letter V. That makes a duplicate of that thing that I just copied. Notice how when I move this around, you see that red line? That red line means I want it to be lined up with that other box. Then I'm going to change this by double clicking here. Change this to the 17th. Clicking away. Then clicking on the edge of the box and changing this link by clicking edit link and this time we're going to delete this one by clicking that little x clicking slides in this presentation and going down to the 17th and clicking apply now here's how this works present your pre your slide presentation and when you click on here 
it's going to go right to the 17th. One other thing I want to do on every other page is add a text box and call it index. Again, I'm going to center stack it by clicking here. I'm going to put a line around it by clicking here and selecting black. And then I'm going to click on the edge. You can, you can see this blinking thing in here. That means that it's it wants you to edit more text. Instead, I'm going to click on the border. I'm going to select insert link. And I'm going to go slides in this presentation. Slide to index and apply. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and copy it, control C. And I'm going to go to every other page and just paste it in here. Oops. So now every other page has the index feature so that when you present it, we click the right mouse. This will go to 916, and this will go back to the index. 917, these are my drawings with my steps. Nothing erased. You can still see pencil marks in here. And back to the index. So that's how you do and add an index to your daily doodle slide presentations.